In this video, we're going to solve this trig equation for solutions on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. The only issue here is that we have the cosine of 2x for this one here, and over here we have the cosine of x. We try to get the same argument, either both 2x or both x, unless we can split them up by factoring, but in this case, the only option is to use an identity for this one here. So there's an identity for cosine of 2x. It allows me to write it as 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. And if I bring this plus, this minus 1 over to this side, get a plus 1 over here, then this minus 1 and this plus 1 will cancel. So I'll get a zero on the right side. And then this will give me then cosine, two cosine squared of x plus the square root of three cosine x. So now I just have x and x instead of two x and x. And the right side is zero. So I can factor the left side, take out a cosine of x it's so leaving with 2 cosine x plus the square root of 3. And that's equal to 0. And then we just set each factor equal to 0. I have the product of two factors equal to 0. That means either one or both factors are 0. So just like when solving quadratic equations by factoring, we set each factor equal to 0. And we get these two equations here. So we want the co we have the cosine of x is equal to zero, so we want to find the angle or angles in the interval from zero to two pi, including zero but not the two pi. You can check that out, but the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. The cosine of 270 is zero. So it's 90 and 270, but we want radians here, so one value can be pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now for this one here, 2 cosine of x plus the square root of 3 equals 0. If I isolate the cosine function by adding negative radical 3 to both sides, I'm going to get this to start off with. And then I divide through by 2. Now again, in this one here, the square root of 3 over 2 is a value that you should recognize from your 30-60 right triangle. 30 degrees here, and this one, this angle over here is 60 degrees. Right triangle, and the square root of 3 would be here. This side would be 1, and this side would be 2. So the cosine of 30 degrees is radical 3 over 2. So that tells me that 30 degrees, or pi over 6, can be used as a reference angle. So see here, cosine of x is equal to negative. So 30 degrees is not going to work, because 30 degrees is in the first quadrant, and in the first quadrant, the cosine, or the trig function value of any angle, of any function, is going to be positive. We want a negative. So what we do is use that 30 as a reference angle. So where would the cosine be negative? Cosine would be negative in quadrant 2. So this angle would work if this is 30 degrees here, or pi over 6, since we're using radians here. And then an angle that lies in the third quadrant, the x value would be also negative for the uh, x component of any point on that terminal side. So this angle will also work, again, where this angle is 30 degrees. So basically, in degrees, one angle would be 150. So we're looking at 150, an angle in the second quadrant, and 210. An angle in the, so we have an angle in the second quadrant, 
and of course the two stand is in the third quadrant. So while ed editing the video, I got a bunch of static, so I had to delete the uh, sound from this portion of the video. So I'm doing a voiceover here. So all I'm doing here are the two solutions from this equation over here, 150 and 210. You can multiply those by pi over 180 to get them in radians here. So a little correction here, make this 5 pi over 6 or 150 degrees. And then 210, if you multiply that by pi over 180 and simplify. It's 7 pi over 6. And then I'm just really, uh, putting these together. Four solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi at pi over 2, pi pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. And that pretty much completes the, uh, the video for the solution of this equation. In the next part, if you want to look at this or view this, I'm simply uh, computing these or finding these solutions using the uh, graphing calculator. This works out nicely when you have exact solutions. Otherwise, there's another, another technique you can use with the, with the calculator. And all I'm going to do is take this equation, the, the original one, set it equal to zero, so taking the negative one over that portion of it, I'm going to put it in the calculator as you'll see uh, in a few seconds here. So here's the calculator, and I've already entered the expression that I'm going to graph here. There it is. Cosine of 2x plus the square root of 3. Cosine of x plus 1. I'm doing a zoom here. I'm going to, I'm going to use uh, feature number 7, Z-trig. That's what I hit there. And there's the graph. And this works best when you have it in degrees. And like I said, you can always convert from degrees to radians when you have exact uh, values, which is what we have here. So there's the trace. Just press the, uh, the right arrow here and slow down when you get close to the x-axis. And you can see there 90 and then the y equals 0 tells you that is a x-intercept which of course in this case corresponds to a solution 90 degrees or the uh, pi over 2. Continue with the trace here and slow down when you get to the next point where the graph crosses the axis. There it is, 150 or 5 pi over 6. And then we're going to continue here hitting the right arrow there on the calculator. And then we slow down when we get to the intersection. There it is, 210, y equals 0, or 7 pi over 6. We have one more to go here. Press the arrow. There it is, 270, or 3 pi over 2. And if you keep going, you pass the 360. So remember, we want only the solutions in the interval from 0. Uh, in this case, of course, in gradients to 2 pi. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.